Thieves are focused on part of your car made with metals worth more than gold. It's easy to get and takes just minutes to cut it out of your car. Tonight 13 investigates a new way to keep your catalytic converter safe, and it's created right here in Indiana. It's a sound John McDermott knows all too well. It sounds like an Indy 500 car. I mean, it is loud. The loud sound comes from his truck, and it lets him know yet another catalytic converter has been sawed off his vehicle. Here we go again. McDermott owns Martin Fine Furniture and says over the years, He's had at least four converters stolen. Each theft is money down the drain for downtime and deductibles. So now he's playing defense. It beats probably fences. It beats cameras. McDermott is talking about an $800 or so custom built metal cage that encloses an otherwise exposed converter. This bad boy right here is what makes the money. All ben Stallings with Beck Service Center says insurance. customers are rolling in the shop with the same problem. But at a cage, and it creates an obstacle for thieves. So that when they come with their sawzalls, they're not able to get and cut the converter off and remove it from the truck. And it's not just an Indianapolis problem. The National Insurance Crime Bureau says in 2019, criminals stole about 280 converters a month. In 2020, that number jumps to 1,200 a month. Catalytic converters protect the environment, cleaning up your car's exhaust before it hits the air. But it's not the planet criminals want to save, but the trace amounts of precious metals inside. Palladium, platinum, and rhodium are what's valuable, and right now, rhodium equal to the weight of about six nickels is worth more than $27,000. The same amount of gold, just over $1,800. And so if they can take four to five of these in a night, they just picked up $1,500 in a night. And it's happening in broad daylight, too. I decided, beautiful day, I'm going to ride my bicycle, and I parked here. David Rose parked his car next to the Pensy Trail in the Irvington Plaza parking lot weeks ago. Nothing looked out of place until I got in and started the engine. And then it was like, whoa. This is noisy. But Rose was lucky. His catalytic converter was still there. Thieves cutting his pipe stop halfway through. The retired shop teacher welded the pipe himself. I don't think I'll park here again. The Insurance Information Institute recommends parking near people and cameras, checking your insurance policy for comprehensive coverage, and if it's a big vehicle with a pricey converter, a device like the one Beck service builds. It's money well spent because I, I don't believe the problem's going to go away. Happy to, you know, that that's something that uh, we've come up with. Indiana lawmakers just made it a felony to both buy and sell stolen catalytic converters. The law takes effect July 1st.